Hi everyone, this is uh, Sarfaraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question 107 from the OG13 critical reasoning chapter. The stimulus says, although the discount stores in Gorville's central shopping district are expected to close within five years as a result of competition from a spendless discount department store that just opened, those locations will not stay vacant for long. So it says, uh, the new spendless discount department store that's opening in Gorville Central Shopping District, which will, which will lead to other discount stores in uh, the Central Shopping District uh, having to shut down, but that won't uh, result in those places staying vacant for long. Why? Because in the five years since the opening of Colson's, a non-discount department store, a new store has opened at the location of every store in the shopping district that closed because it could not compete with Colson. So the argument is concluding something for the future based on something that has happened in the past. What happened in the past? Colson, which is a non-discount department store, very very important. Colson uh, opened its store in the central shopping district which led to some other stores having to shut down because they couldn't compete with Colson. But wherever those stores shut down, new stores opened up very quickly. So on the basis of that, uh, the argument is concluding that in future, when Spendless opened its store over here, it might lead to some stores shutting down. But new stores will again open up in those uh, places because it has happened in the past. The big difference is, keep in mind, Spendless is a discount department store. Colson is a non-discount department store. It's just something I have observed. It may or may not be relevant when we go to the options, but I'm pretty sure it will be relevant. Which of the following, if true, most seriously weakens the argument. So we have to weaken the argument by saying it is possible that those places which become vacant might actually remain vacant in the case of spendless. Uh, so let's go through the options then. A says, many customers of Colson are expected to do less shopping there than they did before the spendless store opened. That's of no consequence to us. We are not concluding that whether Colson will be there or Colson will shut down. B says increasingly, the stores that have opened in the central shopping district since Colson's opened have been discount stores. Now you see, this looks good because what it says is that after Colson opened, and Colson is a non-discount store, a lot of stores shut down, right? And in those, in the place of those stores, new stores opened up. And the new stores now we know from option B have all been mainly discount stores. So the reason they might have been able to survive despite Colson being there is the fact that Colson is a non-discount store whereas these were all discount stores. But now with Spendless opening and Spendless is a discount store, it's possible that when these stores shut down, no new store is able to open because there's already a discount store over there which is uh, uh, Spendless. So that could be uh, one uh, fact that weakens the argument by pointing out a difference uh, between what the situation was when Colson had opened and what the situation is when Spendless is opening. So it could weaken the argument. C says, at present the central shopping district has as many stores operating in it as it ever had. Tells you nothing. D says, over the course of the next five years, it is expected that Gorville's population will grow at a faster rate than it has for the past several decades. It is no reason to conclude that this will lead to a lot of stores opening up. It's possible that the increased population all wants to shop at Spendless. So just because the population is growing does not mean the places which become vacant will not remain vacant. They may or may not. So E says, many stores in the central shopping district sell types of merchandise that are not available at either Spendless or Colson. So now, we have no idea whether these will be part of stores that will be closing or not. Uh, we don't really know whether it affects the argument in any which way uh, or not. So from the options given to us, B definitely is the best one, uh, as I explained. And that should be the answer to the question, a difficult question. On a difficulty scale of one to five, I would give this one a four or a four and a half. Have a nice day.